guys, this is Mary. Welcome back to Cards TV. Today we're going to make a card using the From My Kitchen cartridge. I know you think this is mostly for like recipe books and things like that, but there's some cute cuts in here and you can use them for almost anything. Just use your imagination. Our card is going to be a Z fold card, and that's going to take a piece of cardstock that's four and a quarter by 11. You can take a eight and a half by 11 piece of cardstock and just cut that in half lengthwise and that'll give you the correct size which is four and a quarter by 11 and we're going to make two score lines and I'm using the Martha Stewart scoreboard but you can do this in your trimmer just use the cutting channel and your bone folder. We're going to score this at two and three quarters and five and a half and we'll go ahead and get this folded now here's our card all folded our Z fold for the front flap and the inside flap we're going to take some green and I've cut this at two and a half by four so we're going to need two of these one for the front flap and one for the inside flap and then to go on top of that I've cut this really cute striped paper and this is two and a quarter by three and three quarters and we'll need two of those as well one for the outside and one for the inside and they're going to go on the front and the inside flap and I'll go ahead and get these adhered grab my ATG gun and we'll get these put on we've covered the front flap and the inside flap now for the inside of our card I've cut some more green and this is four inches by five and a quarter and that's going right there and then the striped piece for this is five inches by three and three quarters and that's going to go right there so I'll get this put down and then I'm going to show you what I've cut from the from my kitchen cartridge it's so cute in the from my kitchen cartridge on page 67 we've got a pie right here with a cherry on top so I decided I wanted to use this pie, but I've changed it up just a little bit. Let me show you what I did. I think it turned out so cute. But I did cut the pie and the layers at two and a quarter inches. I just cut the background, the pie crust, and the uh, back part of the cherry in green. And then this is the top part of the cherry. But that was all cut at two and a quarter inches and let me show you what I did with it it turned out so cute I decided to put a face on it and I ran it through the cuddle bug I put a little bit of chalk on her cheeks and I don't know if you can see it or not but I used some glossy accents on the cherry to make it shiny can you see that I just love this and I also inked around it just a little bit with some creamy brown chalk ink but I cut the background out of pink and that gives you the whole pie then I cut this top part out of kind of a well it looks like the color of pie crust to me it's kind of a buttercream yellow and I did chalk around it but let me show you which peachy keen stamps I used for the face I think that's the cutest face now these are the snow cutie face assortment which you wouldn't think you'd use on a pie but the ones down here that don't have like the pieces of coal for the smile I think are perfect this is the one inch size and this is PK 500 Snow Cutie Face Assortment. And I use this one right here. I just think it's adorable. And like I said, that's the one inch size. And I stamped it with my Memento Tuxedo Black ink. And then I took my white Jelly Roll pen and just put a little dot in each eye. And she kind of looks like she's looking up. 
then I ran it through the Swiss Dots cuddle bug folder. If you want to emboss something and you want to stamp it, stamp it first and then you can run it through your cuddle bug and it won't hurt it at all. I took some pink chalk and a q-tip and just put a little bit of blush on her cheeks and then like I said I cut the cherry out and uh, put some glossy accents on there and put it on top and I think she's the cutest little cherry pie <laughs> but I've got her on one thickness of foam tape and it's only on one side because she's only going to go on one side of the front flap I'm not going to adhere her down quite yet though because I want to show you what's going on the inside that I also cut from the from my kitchen cartridge and we're going to turn over to page 69 here we go and here's a fork right here we didn't cut the one that's holding the spaghetti we just cut this fork right here on page 69 and here it is and I've put glossy accents on it as well and can you see that it made it kind of shiny I used gray so it would kind of look like a stainless steel fork and I cut this at three inches then I turned over to page 76 if you look in your cartridges you can find all kinds of shapes and all kinds of things to put on your cards you just kind of have to think outside the box sometimes well, on page 76, there's a cute little sheep, but I'm not cutting the sheep. I just wanted this little scallop to go on the inside of my card to use for my sentiment. So I cut one of those out of white. And I cut this at three and three quarter inches. And it's going to go right here on the inside of my card. I'm going to add my little fork right over here to the side. And see then my pie will come over enough to hide my sentiment and let me show you what the sentiments are going to be for the front of my card let me go ahead and lay these back on here I'm using sweetie pie and this is from the cards TV stamp set sweet talk I love this one it's so sweet but there's Sweetie Pie right there, and I just stamped that with that same Memento Tuxedo Black ink. Real easy to do, and I just cut it like it's on a little banner, notched both ends. And I just took the scissors, but you can use a square punch to go in there and notch that out. But we're going to put that right there. Our little pie is going to be there. Over here is going to be our fork. And we're going to add a pink button up here with some floss in it. And another button down here. And I think that's going to be adorable. But my sentiment for the inside is going to come from another Cards TV stamp set. And I'll move this so I can open it and show you. I'm going to get all this stuck down in just a minute. But my fork's going to be there and my button. So when you open it up right here is going to say thank you cherry much and this is the garden greeting set from cards tv there's some cute sayings on here thanks a melon peachy king what a pear love and bloom pucker up you're my main squeeze these two go perfectly together if you do a card with a lemon on it that would be so cute i did one like that for my husband wayne and he loved it an apple a day just peachy in a jam, apple of my eye, so corny, you're very sweet, and the one we're going to use today, thank you very much, and you're one in a melon. And that's the garden greeting set for our inside. So mine's going to be a little thank you card, but you could make this into anything you wanted to. This could even be a Valentine's card. Just whatever you want. So I'm going to go ahead and start sticking all these pieces down and I'm going to come back and show you the finished card. I just love this little pie. I think she's adorable. Here's my finished card guys. I think it turned out so cute. I just love this little pie with the face on it. And on the inside you can see I've stamped 
Thank You Cherry Munch from the Garden Greeting Set. And I added another cherry. And this cherry, as well as the fork, are on two thicknesses of foam tape. Now this cherry is back on the same page as the pie. That is page, oh, let me think, page 69. But I cut this cherry at three and a quarter inches. And just put it on the two thicknesses of foam tape. I love this little card. I think it turned out so cute. Thanks so much for coming by today, guys. This has been so much fun. I'll see you again really soon. Bye now.